Hey, it's Blake here, and with supply chain slowing down, retail arbitrage is a better chance than ever for you to make some money this holiday season. I spent less than an hour sourcing these Dollar Tree $1 products, and with what I bought, I'll make over 380 bucks selling those over the next few months. I'm gonna show you those items now, and then we're gonna recap back here after the video to show you how to package these and a few tips and tricks to maximize your profits. Before we get started, if you can, please like the video, give it a big thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you want to, and comment below with what you're doing this Q4 to make extra money. I'm very curious, and I wanna know if I can help in any way. The first section I want to go to is the book section. I'm looking for any books I can sell on Amazon or eBay. I have videos on this, you can watch those, but it's still a reliable way to make money in 2021. So these nine Fruits of the Spirit book sets, they sell on eBay and Amazon. eBay about 20 bucks, Amazon about 30 bucks. So you're looking at about five to nine bucks profit depending on where you sell it. I could not find a full set, so I'm not gonna include these in my profit numbers, but just if you're out there and you see these, something to look out for. When you go over to eBay, we see that about 10 of these sets have sold over the past 90 days. Obviously more singles have sold too, uh, but the real big kicker is on Amazon. You scroll up, it does sell for more, about 30 bucks. And then the sales rank, you scroll down, 104,593. That's very good for books. A lot of people downplay how difficult it is to actually predict how many books are gonna sell based on sales rank, but in my experience, around 100,000 sales rank in books is gonna sell up between about 30 to 100 a month, depending on seasonality. The next retail arbitrage opportunity is the bold Chex Mix packs. I'm gonna sell these individually, but you can also bundle them in five packs or 12 packs. Now this brand is gated on Amazon, and so is the category of food, but for me, uh, Chex Mix brand was an auto ungate, and if you want to get ungated in grocery, I'll link to my video below on the topic. It is extremely simple. If you're going to be selling Dollar Tree food on Amazon or eBay, keep in mind that a lot of these are liquidation items, so check the expiration date. You want to have at least six months left. That's kind of the issue I ran into with these products here. This is a Monster Protein Vanilla Energy Drink. I'm going to sell these in 12 packs, not on Amazon, but on eBay. I could not find an expiration date on these. I'll just take a picture of it. I think they're fine. It's kind of a common misconception that foods have to have an expiration date. They don't, uh, but oftentimes a buyer feels better if they see whatever the uh, uh, sequence of letters and numbers is that are, it's, it's a production number and not an expiration date, but they wanna see that. So I'll take a picture of that. I will sell these for 30 bucks plus shipping. I expect they'll sell for about 40 bucks, uh, but on the off chance someone in Alaska buys these, I'm not out money. Food products on eBay is kind of a slept on category. Here we've seen them selling for about 35, 37, 36 dollars, 43 and change. Uh, this one's from Vietnam. If someone's buying protein shakes from Vietnam, I'm pretty sure that uh, means there's a domestic demand. If you like cartoons from the 80s, comment below your favorite one. Uh, this one's gonna get you. It's He-Man, Masters of the Universe, Mattel Micro Figures, a set of five. These Masters of the Universe Micro Figures are kind of hard to look up. Everyone's using different keywords, but obviously we have demand here. We're seeing the sets of five, that's a complete set, sell for between 15 and 20 bucks, sometimes less on auction. But I can guarantee you if these run out and they're popular stocking stuffers, the price will only go up. I talk about branded micro figures all the time and a popular intellectual property like Masters of the Universe, that is El Dorado. A gold mine. Now it's time for the heavy hitters. And the next one you're gonna see, I make over 350 bucks on. This one, uh, not nearly as good, but still uh, looking at last year's sales data, this gnome stuff, people love gnomes, and gnome Christmas mugs, those are hot sellers. We can sell this for $9.95 plus shipping. Now I know a lot of you are asking why do plus shipping? Why not do free shipping? Well, when the shipping cost, which would be like five or six bucks is going to be such a large portion of the total revenue. I like to do it in additional, uh, not in the same, you know, rolled in as free shipping because that lets the customer know what things actually cost. A lot of people are fine paying 10 bucks for a mug plus shipping where they wouldn't pay 17. The next item, our last one is a huge jackpot. 
You can sell these from Dollar Tree. You can buy them at grocery stores. Last year, I sold tens of thousands of dollars in revenue of products just like this. I sold SpongeBob hot chocolate bombs. I sold Dollar Tree Palmer's hot chocolate bombs. I sold the Mandalorian Baby Yoda hot chocolate bombs. These were in demand and they were hard to get. Uh, the same goes for Queen Anne cherries. That's a different video. But if you want to sell these, do what I'm doing. Buy them now. Hold until December and then sell them at the market rate, I can almost guarantee you, you'll be making a healthy profit. Now let's do the math on these hot chocolate balls. So $3.95 shipping cost, 12% eBay fees, $1 buy cost. If we sell them at $9.95 plus shipping, $3.95 shipping, we're gonna be making over 350 bucks on two 24 count cases. You can easily buy more. And if you sell these like that, you're not limited to only one at a time. You can sell two packs, four packs, 10 packs, even 24 pack cases. And you don't only have to buy them at Dollar Tree. You can go to rmpalmer.com, talk to a sales rep. And although it's, I'm sure very late in the year to buy them for this Christmas, plan this out for next year. Buy these next year wholesale on pallets and I'm sure you're gonna pay less than the dollar Dollar Tree cost. These are not, you know, liquidation items. The Dollar Tree buys them from a wholesaler. Why can't you? That's your first way to ship and maximize profits. The second way is to make sure you're going around to multiple stores and buying as much as you can. And you might say, oh, well, what about the kids? What about the kids? Do kids need hot chocolate bombs? I didn't have hot chocolate bombs growing up, did you? Swiss Miss is fine, it's fine. These are a luxury item. Don't come here and say that stupid stuff. Drive around to the stores in your area and the same way you are with the Dollar Tree DVDs that I talk about, the same way you would with like the Hot Wheels ID cars or the uh, Tesla Cyber Trucks. You want to buy a lot of them so you can make the most money with your time. Speaking of time though, a valid criticism of what I'm talking about is it does take too much time. Why drive to stores when you can look at DollarTree.com or like I said, do wholesale stuff and that's because this is not the end game. You don't become uh, financially stable by doing Dollar Tree retail arbitrage. It's a side hustle. It's a foot in the door towards uh, you know, an e-commerce lifestyle. I don't want you to do this as your full-time income. I want you to watch this video, make a couple extra hundred bucks, learn the ropes, and then go on to your own niches, go on to your own more conventional businesses. I want you to do that because I want you to make more money. If you like that, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below with you know your thoughts on this. And I'll see you guys later. And as always, and I cannot stress this enough, don't be a shithead.